everyone. This video is going to show you how to add correspondence into a contact, a company contact on the Intuitive Mobile. As you can see, I've already brought myself into my contact detail. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to tap on the correspondence line. And when I tap on that, it's going to open to reveal add new correspondence. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to tap on the green plus sign and it's going to then reveal to me the blank correspondence screen. I'm going to tap here on my type and I'm going to come down. It's just going to be a note. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put in my subject line. And I'm just going to say meeting. And if I happen to have the talk to text function on my mobile device, I can go forward and tap on that microphone and speak in my information into this detail field. However, I happen to be working on my desktop to provide you with this educational video. So you're going to be able to hear me typing in that detail area. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my meeting notes. When I met with Merv, I actually brought in some coffee for our meeting and I want to be able to keep track of all of my marketing dollars. And here in the correspondence, I can put a receipt number and the amount of money that I actually charged um, on that receipt. And at the end of the month, I can actually print out a report that is going to show me all of my receipt numbers with all the numbers, all the amount of dollars that I've spent with each and every one of my meetings or happen to be each and every one of my clients. So I want to keep track of this. I'm going to put my receipt number in here and the amount of what I spent. And then I also want to follow up with Merv. He had discussed with me the services that they provide, but I did not get a price list from them on the services that they provide. So I want to follow up with him and get that price list from him. So here I'm going to tap on the do field and when I do I get a convenient pop-up calendar and I happen to want to do this tomorrow. I don't want to forget it so I'm going to put it in there for tomorrow. I'm going to leave the assigned to to me. Of course if I wanted to I could change this up by simply putting in another person's name here and it would come and show me who am I looking for and I could put Matt's name in here then simply by tapping on their name. However, I want to leave this as my name. And then my subject, I'm just going to put in here price list and services. And again, if I have the talk to text function in these fields, I could be tapping that microphone and talking my information in. So here in my detail, I'm just going to call Merv for his price list. Now that I have everything in, I have put in a correspondence as to where was I at, what was I doing, and who was I meeting with. I also have recorded my marketing dollars for this meeting, and I have set a follow-up or a task for myself. So I've done three things in one area. And now that I have all of that in, I'm just going to tap here on my Save button. And now I have created a correspondence in a company contact and I have created a task for myself in that contact.